This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Susan Faulkner Evans and Bo. We're working on the timing of the aids for the canter. What we're asking Bo to do now is listen more to Susan's leg. So she's using her, I can tell by the way he's positioned, she's going to use, she's using her right leg to get his right hind to step under towards his left front, going this direction. That's it. And she's changing directions, whichever side she wants. Like sometimes she'll have him step under with his outside hind, other times with the inside hind. And as you can see, Bo is really thrilled about this. Good, take your time. Because we've really never focused this much on what he's feeling from behind. And he's probably think we've, we've gone, lost our minds totally. That was nice with your hand, Susan. Okay, now which rear end are you going to move over? Outside or? Pushing out. Pushing out. Pushing out. Left hind to the right front. Good, praise him. Good. Pushing in. Pushing in. Right hind to the left front. Oh, good. He's picking you up with his inside hip different. Can you feel that? Yep, yep. Going out. Good, good. Take your time. So now you're going to switch whichever side you want. That's it. You come in and out as you feel you need to now. So she's really riding him more with her seat and legs here. Good boy. And this is, he's working on second level. So we need him to rock more. But this is good. That he's, that's good. That's good. good it's the first time we've really asked him at the canter to move his haunches in or out, other than, you know, the typical leads and stuff. Good. Keep him connected. Good. That's it. Keep him connected. And you can feel that was just like an inch, but it was enough to where he came above the vertical. Yep. Good. That's it. Praise him. Pushing out. Good. Let his neck go a little straight in between. So you've got the right idea of softening the jaw, but it should be soften and then loosen. Soften, loosen, soften, loosen. That's it, because everything's about softening the pole, softening the jaw. Yep, and good, good. That's where he fell into no man's land. That's where he didn't know how to where to carry his balance. That's all it was. Good, now you can do the trots to the canters, thinking the same thing. When you pick up your canter, yep, I know this is hard, isn't it? But you know it's these hard exercises that really refine everything. So we expect it to be sloppy now because usually, you know, in the canter transitions and stuff, he's been doing all right. He's had some pretty nice ones. But now you're getting really fussy because reality is, you know, second level three, you're looking at third level. Yep. That's it. Good, good. And it's so nice that now he's actually wanting to respond differently than he used to. Taking us a long time to get him to where he wants to communicate and connect with us. Oh, good! He's using his back end. Did you feel it? Yeah. What did you do? Just trying to get him to go. Oh, that was great. He doesn't know what to do with it, but he brought it under. That was good. So if he does that by mistake, praise him. He just doesn't know what to do for sure right now. Good, Susan. So you praise him a lot when he gives any attempt. Good. That's it. Good. Susan makes this look so much easier than it is. <laughs> this is a very hard exercise. Good. And if you want to go off the circle and come back, whatever, whatever you want to do, you're just now feeling because you can feel every step. Is he softening everywhere? Is he responding to your inside leg by stepping under more? Because what you'll find is that part of the time he won't be stepping under because this is new for him at the canter. He's like, this is really hard, Mom. What do you want me to do? Oh, oh, oh. And he's trying. Good. That's it. And across the diagonal, we're going to start doing simple changes. And use that feeling for your simple change. Good. Because you'll find his tendency is when it comes to the simple changes, he kind of goes off into wherever, right? Your simple change is preparation for your next movement. Or as I was saying before, from a half halt into a half halt. Half halt, 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 half halt. Good, that's it. Okay, bring his haunches whichever way you want them to go. Yes, and you felt that's exactly right. That's where his back end wasn't where it could have been, but he doesn't know where to keep it right now. Good, good. Good. Check his jaw on both sides. Check his pole. Check that he's responding to your leg. Which leg is he listening to? Good. 
That's right. So keep that left leg busy until you, oh, look, you're getting a different spring now. Feel it? Yep. Good. Good. That's it. Get them to soften more. Nice. Keep the feel. Half halt into half halt. So half halt, half halt, half halt. Keep them on the outside ran. Stretch them on the inside for your transition. Oh, good. Stretch. Half halt. Half halt. That's it. Make it like a rave. Feel like he's nice big loose wave up there. Good. That's all right. Yeah, give him a little lengthening. That's all right. Nice free step. This is a good step. Now from here, this is where he gets his leap. Do you feel it? Yep. Good. Good, Susan. And you know what that is. That's him telling you that he can tell you what to do with his head, but he'll, that'll go away. Good. That's right, bring him over. Good boy. Oh, good, good, good. Preparation's much better now for your transitions. That was good, Susan.